Hey Jeff, what you working on? You working on videos? Yeah, totally. I'm working on videos. What's it about? Oh, it's an avant-garde piece about a young heartthrob mayor who, through the financial woes of the modern days, has to repay his debt to the evil Tom Nook. Wait, you're not even editing a video. You're playing your 3DS. What are you playing? Oh, the pimp's ass game ever. And we're crossing. What's it been, like, three weeks since you've yeah. released a video? Maybe even four? Yeah. I mean, shouldn't you, like, get something out there for yeah. your fans, at least on a somewhat consistent yeah. basis? Maybe once a week? Maybe once every yeah. two weeks? But, I mean, come on! Having yeah. to wait, like, a month at a time? That's selfish. Yeah. And you're just playing Animal Crossing? Like, yeah. what's wrong with you? What are you, a 13-year-old girl? You're telling us to be good. You know, you just got me... You got me good, you just, you know, you sprinkle it on those tooth flakes, you know? This is just... You got it, you told me, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you. You just... Sometimes it's just... It's so hard! Get back to work. Okay! Well, you heard her. I gotta start making videos get it stopped like Animal Crossing. <laughs> Just gotta catch this beetle. We all love video games, am I right? <laughs> That's not a joke. And sometimes when we're playing those video games, the developers put in items that are just not necessarily useful anyway, like chance items, or novelty items, or other thingies. And it actually got me thinking that somebody, I'm not gonna say who, should make a list of the top useless items in video games. Oh my god, I make lists. I should be that person. So here we are, and I'm gonna share my opinions with you guys on what my favorite top five useless items are. First up, we have a little known game from the indie developer Nintendo, Smash Brothers. Now you're probably already thinking, Smash Brothers, there's no useless items in Smash Brothers. What are you talking about? What are you smoking? Is it, is it the crack? Cause I'm really concerned. Well, if you and your friends play the game like my friends do, you probably end up turning off most of the items anyway. Hey, you! I'm challenging you to a match, man. Well, we gotta play it, our final destination, and we gotta turn off all the items, okay? Now, this is getting a little bit off topic already, because I'm not actually saying that all those items are useless because they're never used. In fact, I'm only saying that it's likely that one of your favorite items in the game is probably the Pokeballs. And we've all been there, haven't we? The fleeting moment, that moment you desperately needed a good Pokemon, and you throw that Pokeball. <laughs> Frickin' Goldie. Useless. Thank you, everybody. I am here for four more. Z Zelda. Uh, Zelda. There's a lot of items in Zelda. There's hook shots, sling shots, scale thingies. You get to do the the hover. You get to hover with boots? You remember that? This is like, it was kind of dumb, but you, you got to do it! But I think it's a pretty safe assumption to say that a lot of the items in the Legend of Zelda series run out their usefulness pretty fast. And that there's a select few items in the game that are pretty much just useless in general. I mean, most of them will probably get you a piece of heart. But the bee in the jar is probably one of my favorite useless items. First, all you need is the bug net from the sick little kid in Kakariko Village. Then, it's on! Gotta, 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 gotta find a bee. Da, na, na. Where you at, Mr. B? Where you at, Mr. B? Ow! Oh no, man! Ah, oh, took that in the face. It's a face bomb. Got one. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. This is gonna be so epic. Wait, I gotta figure out which button. There we go. B. Yeah! 
Now to be fair, the bee actually does do something. It attacks enemies and then flies away. But its usefulness I leave up to you. I mean it is taking up a precious bottle slot. And we all know that fairies are pretty dang useful. And you know, you could like just use your sword or whatever. But for a useless item it is mildly entertaining. And I'm actually surprised that the bee just doesn't attack Link as soon as you release it from the bottle. Come back, Mr. B. Come back. Ah, ah, get out of oh no, I am totally useless without my B. Oh god. Uh, blah. If only I had more bees. You knew I'd have to come back someday. You knew the day would come when I would return. I just haven't lost hope for all of Skyrim. However, they froze my assets, so I'm gonna have to stop by this trading post to sell some things. But first, I have to finish something I started a long time ago. Oh, crap. And you know, it was right at that moment that I realized something special. There's a lot of useless items in Skyrim. It's funny, I didn't really notice until now. I guess that's just how it is sometimes. You know, sometimes it might just take a giant hitting you a thousand feet up into the air to make you realize things you already knew. Skyrim! There's a lot of useless items in Skyrim. In fact, most of the items in this game have no real use. I mean, there's jugs, cups, and silverware, and food, and you could pick every single one of them up. So what did I decide was the most useless? Plates. So I was trying to think, what is the most fantastical thing I could roleplay as? And there was one thing I knew was the right answer. The one thing that I knew was the greatest thing I could roleplay as in the entire world. Plate Merchant. Yeah. Hello and good day, sir. My name is Batman. I would like you to purchase some of my five plates that I have here for you. They are sturdy. They are good. You can put food on them. Now, how many would you like to buy? NEVER SHOULD HAVE COME HERE! Well, apparently, I'm not as good as a salesman as I thought I was, because he didn't like what I had to say. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, would you please stop that? I would like you to buy some plates. Stare down. Don't make me do it! Don't make me do it! Aw, oh, man, now I just feel sorry for him. All I wanted was to sell you my plates. Okay, hey! You tricked me! Take this! Yeah, buy my plates. Buy my plates or die. Whoops! Quick, we gotta get rid of all this evidence! Okay. Alright, there we go. What more should do it? Perfect. It's like it never happened. Now, it's been a little while since I've played a zombie game. I used to play Left 4 Dead a lot, but then, you know, I stopped. Anyways, when I started to think about useless items, one of the first things that came to my mind was Dead Rising 2. Well, maybe not the second one, just the, the series. You could practically pick up anything that you see and use it as a weapon. And as you guys probably know, there is a lot of useless items in this game. They're funny, yes, but also useless. You know, it's actually pretty hard to narrow it down to just one useless item. I could probably make a whole list just on this game if you like top 10 useless Dead Rising items. That's trademarked, you can't use that. What's great about this game, though, is that you can use practically everything as a weapon. Found a knife? Use that! You wanna hit balls at things? Well, you can do that, man. Nobody's gonna stop you. Then there was this one part where I found a spear, I started freaking shouting, unit it all over the place. And it was awesome. But if you wander the depths of the Dead Rising malls long enough, you'll eventually come across a toy store. That's what I decided the most useless item was the giant teddy bear. Well, just the giant stu- Giant stuffed animals. Oh man, oh no, look at all these zombies. I will never be able to, to kill them all. Now I will show these zombies the true meaning of pain. Alright, it's time for a backup plan. I'm gonna throw this thingy. Got him. Quick, flee the scene of the crime. Just cuz! Just cuz! Cuz why not? Now admittedly I haven't even played this game a whole lot, but I do find it really enjoyable. You get to hookshot, you get to surf on cars like in that movie Surf Ninjas. Moto SURF! 
Actually, this game wasn't even on my radar until I pulled some people from the Hidden Block forums. And I'm actually pretty happy that I did because this game is awesome. It's exactly what a free roam action game should be. However, there is a hilarious and, of course, useless item from this game. But first, I have to get there! And of course, because we're not playing the game for realsies, and this game is way more fun if you're just messing around, we're gonna cheat! I'm gonna call this black market here. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a good amount of money that to have. It's a good amount. All right, well, we gotta get across the entire island here, so let's go with the jet. Oh yeah, let's do this. To take off, okay, I got enough space here for this, and we're just gonna keep going through there, and uh, here we go, we're in the clear, in the clear. Oh. And explosives. Okay, I just need some more space, so let's just, just try this again. All right, get adjusted, get my uh, bearings. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh, sh easy, easy, all right, here we go, we're going, yeah, straight so, oh, okay, this is my setback, we're gonna keep going through this, we're just gonna go through with this flight, oh, yeah, air, woo, we did it, we did it, we did it, this road seems wide enough, I'm just gonna try and do this one, I'm sure it's gonna work out fine, that's it, this time, no hesitation, we're doing it. Take care of him first. He's in my way. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Woo! Bring it in, guys! Yeah! Woo! Never thought flying across the island was gonna be so boring. Ba -na -ba 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 -ba. Whoa! So if you somehow manage to get all the way over to this part of the island, you'll be in for a special treat. If you go to the top of this here tower, you're actually going to find something special. And it's a bubble gun. It's a bubble gun. That'll come in handy. And what does it do? Well, it does what you'd expect. It blows bubbles. See, look. They're blowing bubbles. <laughs> this is fun. Catch up. Don't catch up. Reloading, cover me! Do I even really need to explain why this is a useless item? Boy, it's a cool one, isn't it? Oh, hello guys! I just wanted to come over here and play with you, but I see that you guys are busy, so I will now leave. Bye! What?! Oh my goodness! It's the end of the video! I guess that means it's time for me to go, but hey, it doesn't have to end here. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all those super cool updates I give out all the time. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite useless items are. Also, if you missed one of my videos, be sure to click on one of the annotations in the center of the screen and I'll take you to my previous videos. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Lastly, don't forget to check out HiddenBlock.com for all your silly video gaming shenanigans. Well, that's it for me, so I'm gonna impart some last words of wisdom to you guys. Don't open an ice cream store during winter. It's just a bad idea. Okay, bye!